everyone, it's me, Dr. Kong, cosmetic dentist, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna to talk about three types of teeth that will not whiten well. So if you've been struggling with whitening your teeth, stay tuned. Before we move forward, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss any of my future videos on cosmetic dental procedures. Now, if you've been whitening your teeth, even whitening your teeth in a professional dental office, and you're not really satisfied with the results, I have some news for you. The truth is some people whiten more easily than other people people. So while most people wonder what is the best whitening solution, what is the best product, it's oftentimes not as much about the product. It oftentimes comes down to you and your teeth. In addition to that, not everybody is capable of whitening to the same degree. If you've been whitening your teeth a lot and you feel like you've hit a plateau and you're just not whitening anymore, you may have hit a wall. Whitening may not take you to that final result that you're envisioning in your head. So we have to be really realistic about the power of of teeth whitening. Today, I'm going to talk about three different types of teeth that I see that simply just do not whiten easily. Now, that doesn't mean that you cannot whiten them. You may get results from whitening, but you will not get the same amount of results as the person next door. For all three of these situations, I would suggest using a different type of whitening because of how stubborn these teeth generally are, and that is the core whitening system. More than likely, something like a crest white strip, which is over-the-counter and much lower concentration is not going to be very effective on these types of teeth. So the first type of tooth is a tetracycline stained tooth. This type of staining occurs when an antibiotic in the tetracycline family is taken during pregnancy or early childhood. The tetracycline antibiotic family chelates strongly with the hydroxyapatite molecules, making it very, very stubborn and difficult to whiten. That is because traditional teeth whitening is usually done with a hydrogen peroxide-based product, which bubbles and oxygenates and lifts those dark stains out of the teeth. However, if the tetracycline antibiotic has chelated with the hydroxyapatite molecule, it becomes one with the molecule, making it very, very difficult to lift. What you should know is that not all tetracycline stains are to the same degree. Some are easier to lift than others, depending on when it was taken and how long the antibiotic was taken, and if it is in the enamel or just the dentin. If this topic interests you, I can make an entire video video on tetracycline staining. So let me know in the comments below if that's something you guys are interested in. Otherwise, I'm going to move on to the next type of tooth that is very difficult to whiten, which is the gray tooth or the translucent tooth. People who have translucency in their tooth often complain that it makes their tooth look like it's see-through or that it's gray toned. Some people are born with more translucency within their tooth than others. And I find that translucency to a certain degree is very pretty. A lot of dentists love to see translucency, but I find that patients don't really love translucency. Reason being that no matter how much you whiten, the translucency makes the tooth not look as white. I do hear from a lot of people that they believe that the teeth whitening is what caused the translucency in their teeth. And that's a myth. People are born with translucency. It's just a matter of how well you can see it. Oftentimes, if the teeth are darker or stained, the translucency is not as apparent. But as you continue to whiten, the translucency almost becomes more obvious and it may seem like the teeth whitening caused the translucency when it was really always there. A good way to check as to whether you have translucency in your teeth is to take a cotton roll and put it behind your two front teeth then shine a light and see how much of the translucency you can see when there is something behind there. Now if you have translucency in your teeth but you don't love it, can you still whiten them? Yes. Teeth whitening will still be effective however the translucency may become even more apparent to you because instead of having dark stained teeth with translucency, now your teeth are lighter with translucency, which I think most people still prefer. However, the point of me going over this is that if you're imagining having really, really bright teeth from teeth whitening, it's just not going to get there. A veneer or a covering for the tooth might be a better option in order to give that look that the patient is going for. The third type of tooth that will not whiten very well is if you have a root canal or if you have a calcified canal. If a tooth has a root canal in it, it tends to turn dark over time. And the best way to lighten it back up is to do internal bleaching. That is where the dentist goes in through the back of the tooth, puts in a little pellet of whitening solution so that the tooth can whiten from the inside out. In the scenario of a dead nerve or a calcified nerve or a root canal, you may notice that that one tooth is just a little bit darker than the rest. So oftentimes, if you have one dark tooth, a single dark tooth somewhere inside your smile, it usually has 
cause something going on with the nerve. In the case of an obliterated canal or a calcified canal, there is no opening because there is no root canal. And so internal bleaching is not possible. In this type of case, what you can do is get a custom tray made and you can apply whitening solution just to that one tooth. So you can catch it up to the rest of the teeth. Now, oftentimes you won't be able to catch it up all the way, but if it's on the bottom, most people are fine with that because it just ends up blending in just a little bit better. However, if it's on a top tooth, most people do end up getting some sort of covering just to blend it in to the rest of the teeth. Okay, so those are the three types of teeth that I see as a cosmetic dentist that do not whiten easily. It's funny because I see people's teeth and just tell whether they're going to be receptive to teeth whitening, but I wanted to explain why you may be struggling if you haven't been seeing results with teeth whitening at home. If you found this video helpful, hit the subscribe button and I'll be back next time with another video. Bye.